Last week I updated you guys on my plastic free lifestyle changes and I told you that I ran out of toothpaste and had recently purchased a new almost plastic free toothpaste to try out. I also recently ran out of shampoo and conditioner so I planned to buy something called Novo Drops. I believe I mentioned these on my Facebook or my Instagram or my YouTube channel before and they are these awesome like little pods they're like dishwasher tabs except it's got shampoo or conditioner in it and I ordered some and they didn't come and so I got online and I looked at my email and I had an update but the order they had my credit card number but I hadn't been charged and nothing had shipped so I messaged the company no answer I messaged them on Facebook no answer. It's been about a month now, I haven't heard anything, and the only things that I'm finding on their Facebook page are from comments from other people who are also saying the same thing. I ordered this, it never came. I don't know what's going on with this company, but it's really upsetting because this is the first thing that I've seen that's like this, because in my past videos when I was doing the 30 day plastic free challenge, you all know that I tried a shampoo and conditioner bar, and I wasn't really pleased with the results of that. So I was looking for another alternative because once my 30 days were over, I was free to go back to using whatever other products I had and then just trying to work on converting slowly to going plastic free over time instead of packing it all in that 30 day time period. So now that I'm trying to change my shampoo and conditioner again in search of something else, I was really, really excited about trying these Nobo drops, but unfortunately, there's no sign of them. So, the current moment, I don't have much of a plan. I really didn't like the shampoo and conditioner bars, and I really don't know what else to do. I'm planning to keep these travel size things and maybe just refill them, so that will at least, you know, cut down on the amount. Maybe I can find a shampoo bar where, bar as in bar where I can go get liquid shampoo as not, not bar soap bar so in the meantime though I considered trying something different which most of you probably are very opposed to doing on your own but just to test it out for you I am gonna just wash my hair today with water only that doesn't sound right but shampoo and conditioner often strip our hair of its natural oils so Maybe shampooing with just water will allow my hair to kind of naturally restore itself. And I have waited a long time to wash my hair. I don't know if you can see how greasy it is in the video, but I almost don't want to wash it because like, look at this. It's vol voluminous and it's got some little curlies in it and like, it would hold, if I styled it, it would so hold even without putting a product in it right now, which is kind of cool, but I miss also running my fingers through my hair and not running into knots or running my fingers through my hair and not feeling this weird greasy texture. So I'm gonna brush it out and wash it with water and see how that turns out. Get a couple more angles of this. So this is what my hair looks like when I flip it back over after brushing it with all this grease in it. Fantastic! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really entertained by this. Well that was mildly unpleasant. I brushed my hair out like a lot, like a lot, like a lot, like you don't want to see how much hair came out of my hair, a lot. 
before the shower so it would be detangled and it kind of hurt which it usually does but then when I took a shower with this water it was still tangled and I couldn't even run my fingers through it like So that's, I don't feel like this is going to be a long-term solution. I really like the way the conditioner makes my hair feel after a shower and my hair just feels like tangly. So that doesn't seem like a long-term solution. However, we'll see what my hair looks like when it's dry. My hair is dry and it basically looks the same as it did before I washed it with water. I'm sure most of you are like, no shit Lizzie, you can't wash your hair with water, there's oil in it. But like, maybe if I grow dreadlocks or something, I don't know. Anyways, there's still dandruff, my head doesn't feel that clean, and it's still kind of greasy. So yeah, water's not gonna work on a regular basis. I wonder if I like just stopped using it for a month, what would happen? You guys want me to do that? You want to see what my hair looks like if I don't wash or shampoo for a month? I don't. Yeah, I do. But I don't. Because that feels gross. So yeah, that's not going to be an option. So hopefully at some point we will get an answer from this company, No Bow Drops, because I was really looking forward to trying these out and reviewing them, but I am not seeing any sign of getting these things anytime soon. If anyone has any other ideas for plastic-free shampoo and conditioner, I am totally open to listening to them and giving them a shot in some of my future videos. So please comment below if you want to see me review something that's plastic free. A few days after I recorded this video, I finally heard back from Nobo, and it sounds like they were struggling to find some sustainable packaging that allowed you to keep these things in the shower. I'm also guessing they got probably slammed with orders from people, which is actually really exciting because that means other people are looking for these plastic free options. And I guess I'm gonna have to wait until September now to try them, which is really disappointing. But I will be waiting because I think this is a really exciting invention. And stay tuned. In September, I will be releasing my review on my opinion of these awesome looking plastic free shampoo pods. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later.